Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Polynomials. In this lesson, what we're going to be looking at are the different types of polynomials. Now, just to give you guys a, uh, an introduction, usually in terms of algebra, you'll have numbers followed by some kind of a letter. Here we have what we call a term. And in this term, there are two parts to this term. We have our letter, which is known as a variable, or it is also known as a literal coefficient. The number that's in front of it is considered a numerical coefficient. Whenever you have a numerical coefficient followed by a literal coefficient, the function that is being done between the two is multiplication. So in other words, if we knew what the value of this x letter is, we would multiply that value by 7. Otherwise, we leave this expression as 7x. Okay. Now, in terms of polynomials, there are three types of polynomials. One type are called monomials. Monomials have one term. A few examples of monomials are, well, like that example we just did, 7x. Another example might be 9y cubed. Another example might be negative 2ab. Okay, now if we look at it, a monomial here, we, or actually, let me throw in one more, sorry, something like 5, the actual number. If we look at monomials, monomials either consist of the numeric coefficient, okay, followed by a variable or a literal coefficient, or no coefficient, literal coefficient at all. So that's a monomial, and notice how all monomials have only one term. Okay. Another type of polynomial are called binomials. Example here, now in terms of binomials, meaning two terms. So an example here would be 7x minus 3. Uh, 2y plus 8. A plus b. Now if we look at any type of binomial, notice how we have two terms. And how do we know the two terms? Well, we have two terms and they're either separated by an addition or an subtraction. And the last type of polynomial we have are called trinomials. And we can all guess what trinomials all consist of. They consist of three terms. And here's an example. x squared plus 2x minus 9. Another example might be 2y cubed plus uh, y squared plus 7. Okay, notice here how we have three terms separated by either addition or subtraction.